Hey guys, so today's video is part 3 of review of chapter 15 from the book Requisites of Ultrasound and it is the fetal head, face and neck and in this video I will be sharing a few more of the fetal head pathologies. So first up is porencephaly. Porencephaly is the presence of one or more cystic cavities in the brain. Similar to hydrencephaly, porencephaly is likely vascular in etiology. The cystic area frequently communicates with the adjacent lateral ventricles. As you can see, the cystic spaces indicated by the arrows. Now this is the image of schizencephaly. It is a rare disorder in which the brain defect line by the brain matter extends between the lateral ventricle and the cerebral cortex to communicate with the subarachnoid space. So this is the image of open lip schizencephaly and it is characterized by separation of the walls of the cleft by cerebrospinal fluid facilitating its identification at the antenatal ultrasound scan. Now this image of the fetal head of a different fetus depicts bilateral fluid filled cleft indicated by the arrows in the brain. In this image you can see an arachnoid cyst which is a fluid filled collection between the cerebral meninges that does not communicate with the lateral ventricle. Now this is the image of a choroid plexus cyst and it is a common cystic finding. It is associated with an increased risk of trisomy 18. However, if the fetus has a normal karyotype, the choroid plexus cyst is not associated with an adverse sequelae. So now I'll be talking about holoprosencephaly. Basically, holoprosencephaly is a spectrum of abnormalities of the midline brain and facial structures. It occurs due to incomplete cleavage of brain, brain parenchyma during embryologic development of the forebrain. Holoprosencephaly is frequently associated with chromosomal abnormalities, mainly trisomy 13. Holoprosencephaly is classified into three main types, alobar, semilobar, and lobar holoprosencephaly. From the most severe to the least severe. Alobar holoprosencephaly is characterized by fused thalami, a single monoventricular cavity, absence of midline brain structures such as the Fox cerebri and Cabum septum pellucidae with facial abnormalities. The facial abnormalities include cyclopia, which is a single eye in the forehead, hypotelorism, which is decreased space between the two eyeballs, cleft lip and pallet and proboscis which is an appendage that protrudes from the forehead or the face. This is the image of the fetus at 20 weeks gestation. You can see that the thalami are fused indicated by the arrow. Now in this image you can see a monoventricle indicated by the M and a rim of thin brain tissue. Now in this image you can see a monoventricle with bilateral choroid plexus indicated by the two short arrows. This is a midline sagittal view of a proboscis indicated by the arrow which is basically an appendage protruding from the forehead. Now in this image you can see both a proboscis and hypotelorism which is decreased intraorbital space. Now this brings me to the end of the video, please subscribe to my channel and inshallah I'll come up with more such reviews of the book requisites. Thank you.